In some of our pre previous videos, we've talked about hydrogen bonding and how it affects several properties of water. In this video, we'll talk about cohesion and adhesion, uh, which are similar to each other and almost identical, the only difference being that uh, cohesion is when water is attracted to itself and wants to stick to itself. Whereas in adhesion, the same happens but with surfaces and other materials, such as wood or glass. Um, finally, these two can, uh, are also related to surface tension, which is just the measure of how difficult it is to stretch or break the surface of a liquid. Uh, cohesion, if you've ever seen a puddle of water outside or on a table or anything, you know that it kind of curves, curves up at the edges like this. This is because the water would rather stick to itself than spread out evenly across the entire surface. Because of the same principle, if you have water in, say, a test tube, you may have seen that it curves up at the edges like this. In chemistry, it's called a meniscus. Um, the reason for this is because it's attract the water is attracted to the sides of the container, the glass. Um, so that enables it to go up instead of just being perfectly level across the whole container. Uh, finally, surface tension is actually very powerful in water because it's hard to break that surface. If you've ever belly flopped, you know that it can hurt a lot and it can, it's just hard to break the surface of the water very quickly. And so yeah, that's surface tension. This is just a brief demonstration of cohesion and adhesion. First we have cohesion. And as you can see, when we pour water on this coin, it just sticks there instead of sliding off like you may think it will. If you look at adhesion, where water sticks to other surfaces rather than just water itself, I'm going to dip this tissue paper into the water. And if you give it some time, it'll travel up the tissue paper.